Planko people! I hope that everybody is having an awesome day. My name is Tetsuo303 and I want to welcome all of you on my channel. Oh my god, what a week so far! Before we kick off with this episode 2 of Alacrity Hills, I have to tell you what has been going on since I released my last video. So many good things have been happening. Let me start by saying thank you for all the nice words, for viewing the video, for sharing it, for liking it, for the feedback, for the support you are giving me. I really appreciate all of this a lot and it really, really... I can't describe how I feel. It's it's really amazing. Thank you guys. Thanks thanks everybody. The the channel gained uh, a lot of uh, new members to the creative family that we have going on here. So welcome to my madhouse. <laughs> are you a part now of this? And I've locked you in and throw away the key, so you're not gonna get out so soon. But <laughs> don't worry, I will take good care of you and throw you in the slicer of uh, pizza maybe <laughs> if you're nice <laughs> I'm just kidding a person then so thanks for the, a lot of nice comments that you gave in the comment section uh, you gave me a massive amount of feedback which is really really great I took all those things you said and tried to implement them to give you the best experience that I can so if you see things to improve please don't hold back with the constructive and helpful feedback so in, in general I would really appreciate to read about your thoughts and considerations in the comment section. So please, please, please keep them coming. It's really great to read a lot of you guys' thoughts out there. Um, in that regard a special thanks goes out to Christopher Baker, who had a few helpful suggestions regarding the commentary. Thank you so much. Really helps to um, evolve here. Um, another thanks goes out to Niels Pylon? I'm so sorry if I butchered your name, buddy, but you pointed out the broken link in, in my description. That was really, really helpful because this is just a beginner's mistake and I hope that I will be better doing these things. Um, I also promised in the last video that I would put down the video of uh, Stan Wolf's creation. Um, of the climbing wall, which I apparently forgot, but I, I, I did it now, It's it should be in there, so please go have a look and uh, take a look at the um, climbing wall that he did, it's really, really amazing, please do that. Um, another big, big shout out goes out to Kuan, or also known as Pantoffel. Uh, he made those um, awesome animated follow me banners that you may have seen in the intro, or in the beginning of the video. Um, so these are really really great i'm i'm really bad at doing this stuff so i'm glad that he offered to to help me out there and do that so if you have not seen it i will throw it in again just just right now have a look um, in the bottom corner it should appear right now so it's really really great um thank you again buddy i i really love them it's it's really great um so what have we here? Let me check real quick if I've covered everything that I wanted to point out. I think I've been through everything. So today we are right back into episode 2 where we plan to take a walk in the park. Not the old song that is from, from my time back in the days when we still used to ride on dinosaurs instead of cars. Um, but no, we do that really um, in-game, uh, hopefully with a decent frame rate. Um, but we will do our best. Because um, I figured that we should do that. We should take a look at the park, at the current status. Um, otherwise you will never be able to see the, the progress that has been done. Or, yeah, you will not see... Uh, what is going on about now, right now, and, and, and how it looks right now. So I would say today, let's put on our hiking shoes and take a look together at Alacrity Hills. But before we do that, um, you might have noticed this little speed build going on in the video. I would like to show you this first. This is the override that I placed right um, on the other side of the climbing wall. Um, we will have a in in-game look at that too, at the whole area that I did, um, so it changed a lot. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show you the, the speed build. Um, it's uh, 
more or less uh, like the Talokan in Fantasia Land, so it's inspired by it. It's not a copy or something like that, but I really like the theming of it, so I thought um, it would look really good in this adventure section. So, yeah, I will leave you now with this uh, speed build and with a little bit of music, and we will be back live in the park. See you soon, guys. Hey, welcome back to this live bit of this episode. We are, for the first time, in the park. Uh, a roller coaster, oh my god, who would have thought about that? <laughs> so, we're standing here at the main entrance. Right in front of us we can see the, the main entrance building. To the right, we have Valkyrie, a wooden coaster, which we will be visiting shortly. And to the left, we have a coaster, which I have not announced yet, because um, this will be a thing in the next episode of Electricity Hilt. It's in the adventure section, and we will have a name reveal, and it has a complete track overhaul, but we will talk about that in a minute when we get there. So I would say let's walk down down the road, um, looking a bit around what we could see. We can see Valhalla. Oh, it's already tank in there a bit. I'm sorry about that. So there is Valhalla in the back. Um, a hammer swing ride in the Viking section. And um, on the left, you can see the overpower that we saw in the speed build. This is the back of it. Um, yeah, we see the ticket boot, boots, boots, boots. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Ticket boots. Um, isn't the boot a shoe? Well, whatever. Uh, please forgive me, I'm not a native English speaker, so you see where you, the house where you can buy tickets. <laughs> One is here. Um, those um, vintage signs. I, I honestly think they're really nice, but I don't really think that they fit the theme very well so I will go in and exchange that um, probably with a with a screen or something and I don't know maybe make an advertisement for a, for a ride or, or for a coaster or a section opening I don't know some something in my mind that I have um, going on but not really decided yet but th this is not going to stay I mean like I said they are nice but yeah I mean you will notice um, a lot of work in progress so please as you can see here, that there, there is a lot of things that I still have to do. And I'm a very chaotic builder, so I start building something and then I jump on to the next thing. But I will always come back eventually and, and yeah, finish, finish what I started. So, yeah, I would say let's go in and, and you will go and have a look on, on uh, what has been done and what is still have to be done. So... Let's let's go inside um, through the entrance where we see uh, a little main street. Probably, yeah, it's the main street, but it's not like the main street that you would probably uh, think of if you if you think of Disney and and stuff like that. So it's a it's a little welcoming entrance area with uh, information building right in front of us. And uh, yeah, a little bit of greenery. You can see the coaster uh, looming in the back. Again, uh, vintage signs which are yeah not going to stay here at all. Um, yeah, you could see. So th this is the way to the adventure section of the park. Oh, I love that shot with the Valkyrie coaster on top of it. It's really cool. One thing that I do not like are the the flags they are huge and you can not um, customize them we have custom flags on top of the alacrity hills towers which are also going to be um, um, exchanged at some point with the logo or something um, but for now they are just great so let's go on uh, walking down this main street we have a little coffee shop here with some custom custom signs I would assume that 
box you would have like a, a app that you could order your coffee and just pick it up at the store yeah, modern times today right so let's go inside this is for now the only um, building which I have an interior for I definitely want to have more um, it's just I want to do them right and I want to have them special and yeah so like I said this is for now the only one um, hey Mr. Pirate <laughs> he's going to be gone also because uh, yeah he does not really fit the theme um, yeah a lot of custom signings as you can see um, I like big cups and I cannot lie <laughs> so you can choose whatever you you like whichever coffee you like foxy latte uh, foxpresso an iced foxy uh, maybe and you can make it grand or venti for one or two euros of, I mean the prices are ridiculous but yeah well whatever it's a theme park right so we have to make money um, yeah hope you like the interior and um, like I said, for now, it's the only one that we have, but this will change in a bit. Um, of course, where is coffee? There has to be a donut store, too. Um, also, a little bit of custom signing here. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty easy to make. Um, not very detailed, but you can get the you you get the the style and the theme that I was going for. Uh, you can see the blackberry turn in the back here um, going over the over the entrance building again sad that we don't see it right now so this back there is the entrance to the Viking section which we will oh hello train which we will not go in yet because we will take a, oh there we go uh, take um, a small step to the left in a minute but I want to show you this one this is really great I like that so fast-paced um, okay we go to the left where we will head into a plaza um, with a few of the vending machines that came with the last uh, DLC I really like them the only thing that I really wish they could do is like you could put them closer together because they align to the roads and they yeah it's like they are really far away uh, from uh, from each other so you cannot really align them press uh, next to each other so let's let's take this way here uh, you can see the con wooden construction there goes Valkyrie again you can see the wooden construction you have a small um, place to to sit and drink your coffee outside um, on the back of the shop and then when you get back you see this little mess which is a placeholder for a playground that I was planning to to build here you see it's way, way too small so I want to have it like in this whole area um, a, a huge wooden playground but like I said this is just a placeholder for now and uh, yeah that's why it looks so so creepy. <laughs> um, we have a toilet building, uh, of course, toilets everywhere, um, a gulpy. This is the entrance to the main train station that we will see in a, in a minute, in a second. Um, oh, no, no entry there? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't aware. <laughs> um, yeah, so we go uh, this way, where you can see, uh, I really, really love this shot here. Um, with Valhalla in the in the back and the little train station in the front, it really is. I mean, it's huge, right? I mean, the hammer swing is a really huge thing, and it looms over the park. You can see it almost from everywhere. This is insane. Um, yeah, but I really like that that view. So you you look at this. Uh, come on, that's really great, right? So okay, um, this is the little train station, I mean, we can get in there, it's just on test run, with a few details in it, um, but we can go out, and here we see one of the many super fast free Wi-Fi devices that um, are up and running in the park, which I, I built, and you guys really seem to like it, I, I twittered and um, put them on on reddit and they <laughs> yeah they got a, a little bit of love I would say <laughs> I'm glad you liked it so we have these uh, all over the park uh, 
You will see that in a minute. So let's go to the Viking section, I would say. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Excuse me, thank you. Okay, here is the start of the Viking section. Um, on the right you see a restaurant that is called Fenris Diner. Fenris like the, the wolf of the northern of the Norse um, mythology. We have some Viking shields. Um, they are greatly inspired by uh, by Wix's um, orc orc build. It was really cool. <laughs> I love the little shields that he did. So uh, if you haven't checked it out, go go check it out uh, on his channel. You, you see the link um, on the right to the where the awesome creators are listed. And we have a little. Um, Coffee shop here, a uh, little toilet area, which is right in next to the Valhalla, right? The gods await you. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry for that. Um, sometimes I just get mad, uh, crazy, or whatever, insane. <laughs> Hello, it's the Viking. Oh yeah, I love the the statues that we got with the with the adventure set. I mean. He, they are so versatile, we can do a lot of stuff with them, and really like the look of this. Uh, I mean, I give you that, it looks like a dwarf, but it should resemble a viking, but nonetheless, I'm pretty pretty proud of it, how it looks like. Um, so yeah, this is uh, another food area that you have, this uh, in the back, but with a little pip shot. Uh, I know, I'm aware of the colors. Um, they do not really match the other stuff, but yeah, well, that's that's what pip shot is, right? So I, I will probably get back and, and redo that. Um, this one we will see from the front. Let's go back. So this is the, the front part of Valhalla. It's so huge! Oh my god! But I mean, I really like that. Um, script and the look of it it's, it's a re really really cool ride I would say some uh, custom custom lamps with small skulls on it this is um, another flat ride which I was not really sure if I should put it down or not but in the end I pooped it down and um, this is the custom um, gazebo for it I would say um, and it's called the uh, Loki I thought it was fitting because when you get out you just spun around like you know nothing and <laughs> you just twist it as Loki is. So uh, that did not make any sense at all, but <laughs> it is what it is, right? Um, here you have the Viking Arcade. Again, I would love to have an interior for it, but as you see here, um, right now it's, it's empty. So it's just from the outside. Um, this will definitely change at some point. I will put down a lot of um, arcade stuff in there. I already downloaded Shadow Phoenix's um, arcade machines, which are really great. You should take a look at them on the workshop um, from Shadow Phoenix. Yeah. Go go and take a look at, at them. They are really great. Um, so we continue to... Uh, the uh, this is the exit of the dive coaster called Abyss. We have we where you just have yeah I know there there it's flying I know <laughs> I'm I'm aware of that so this this will be changed in the future. Um, the inside is still a little bit empty and uh, blank. So we will go back and head towards. Oh, let me show you this first. So this this is the front. Um, I really love that sign. If you, if you wonder who who did this, th those signs um, they are all made by Sags. Um, she is really really great with art shapes, and um, she will be one of our guests, of course. Um, but that's that's totally amazing. I mean, the way she does them is is really great. Um, so I can't do that because I really suck at custom shapes, but she's really good at it and that's why I asked her to do some custom signings for me and now she's my official sign maker. But like I said, she will be a guest and we will have plenty of time to talk with her, I hope, if she agrees to come. Um, 
here's another Wi-Fi uh, spot, hotspot um, that we have. Here is the queue for Valhalla with uh, a lot of hay inside and yeah, some some details, custom stuff. And you go around this house and then you're already in. Oh, sorry, I wasn't aware of that. Let's go back before something happens. Um, before something, before someone cries, um, because it's hurt. So we go back, and this is the Valkyrie area, which is still not finished, as you can see, because the whole queue. Oh, that was a little stutter. Sorry. So we have these uh, skeleton Valkyries. The whole queue is not done yet, um, but another right sign by Sag. I, I love this one particularly and I wanted to match it up with the station. I really, this this is this station this really took a huge amount of time. I had like ten versions of it until I was satisfied and said, okay, I guess I can go with this now. <laughs> so that that was really a pain in the butt. <laughs> this here is the little uh, photo Photoshop area, um which is still not finished. This will be a uh, complete functioning um, interior when it's done. Well, let's go upstairs to the station. The inside is still really uh, empty, but you can see uh, where it's going. Um, so yeah, let's go down here. Uh, let me see, what can we see here? Uh, not much. No, not much. Okay, let's go further. We see two little shops here, right below the castle. Um, and this is the entrance to the spooky um, fantasy section. Well, I'm I'm not sure about that archway, to be honest. So it's let it let's be it there for now. So it, it has it can stay for now <laughs> until I decide otherwise. But for now, it's it's okay where it is. Then we have some midway games, which are made by the awesome Ruble Trillions. Um, I was thinking about doing some on my own, but honestly, why do something that looks shit in the end compared to something that is already there? So I thought I could just download it and use it. It's, I mean, those are really, really beautiful um, midway games. Uh, so credits to you, Mr. Amazing Ruble Trillions. Um, well done. <laughs> I I will place a lot of them in the park um, further further away. This is the dive coaster. Like I said, it's called Abyss. Um, we will see a major track redo because I'm not really happy how how it works out. So like it looks. This this is quite okay. I'm not happy with this zero G roll that, that we have here. Mm, I like the bit where it dips into. So so this 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 looks really good. I mean, it's it's awesome. But yeah, the rest is still needs to be done. <clears throat> the the complete area is still very naked. Uh, this is the the drop, by the way. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot that needs to be done here. So we will have a restaurant, a kitty ride as planned, and uh, a few other things that we will do back here in this in this um, fantasy section, or yeah, more or less scary fantasy section. Let's run back across Valhalla and uh, Fenris Diner, and no trains coming, that's good. Um, the Foxy Cafe, and we will go towards the adventure section, where uh, we have a little milkshake bar on this end. Beautiful. And then we will pass underneath this little bridge uh, and the wooden construction. Uh, where we will see another thing that I put on Reddit uh, last week. This is the power tower, where you can recharge your uh, your phones, and uh, you can obviously see with how the weather is, and yeah, you, you you have little instructions 
select charging booth, connect phone to... Connect phone to charging. Well, I guess I have to look into that again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this this will need a little overhaul too, I guess. <clears throat> so, um, to the right, this facade will change in the future. So this is also not done yet. This ride is a kitty ride with. Um, I was thinking about something that a crazy inventor would do something like this in, in the, back in the days where the old timers still were around. So not, not as far as uh, my dinosaur story was going before, but um, yeah, somewhere in the middle. Um, it's called the Imaginarium. And it's not done yet, so as you can see the doors are still not opening and I mean, we could go inside for a little look, but you, you want to? You, you, you sure? Well... But, but it won't be much, so let's just take a little step inside. And then... Oh, what's going on? Yeah. It's a themed kitty ride with a lot of crazy inventions and, and stupidity and a lot of fun stuff in it. And still not done. The facade, like I said, will we'll get a, a revamp. Right. So this, this part is pretty cool. I like that. But the rest, yeah, should be should get him a little bit more love, I suppose. Um, okay, this is the the exit where we still don't want to go now. Um, we are. This will be a backstage area. I will I will probably close it off here with a with a wooden gate or something like that. Probably. Uh, I'm not sure what to do exactly. Uh, another Wi-Fi hotspot. <laughs> I, I, I give you that. Sometimes they look out of place. I will probably have to think about something um, to make them look more fitting, I guess. Let me know what you think in, in the comments below. So, what would you say? Is it like really out of place or, or would you say it's okay? It looks pretty okay. Um, so we are entering the adventure section right now here. This is the overpower that we saw earlier. The right skin for it that I made with a lot of water fire. Um, I was planning to um, trigger it with the ride. I haven't done it yet, so maybe um, if the ride starts, the waterfalls are triggered or something like that. So I will I will look into that. Um, I'm, I have done really a, a lot with triggers until now, so I will yeah have to test a, a, a little bit. Uh, in order to see how it works out, but I will I will promise I will keep a look at it So this is the Aztec climb that we did in the lab last um, episode with the little training area and uh, the climbing wall with uh, Ropes and stuff and here you can return your harnesses and helmets and this the exit so yeah, and the rest of the area is also pretty much done, I would say. Um, we have another arcade called Boulder Boulder Arcade here that uh, also I wish to make an interior for, but is not now, so it's still empty, as you would have guessed. <laughs> I really uh, like the idea of the boulder and the ramp running down. <laughs> um, we have a toilet building here. Uh, which spins around, and then this is already the start of the station for the coaster that we have not named yet. Or named, but not said yet. Um, the queue <coughs> remained more or less the same. It's spinning here. You can go inside and see a lot of... you have a lot of coaster interaction um, here. I, I really like that when you are standing in a queue and can already see where the coaster is going and coming. Don't mind too much about the, the layout. It really changed. Um, we did a lot to it. I did not love the the janky first hill and this uh, turn that we are seeing right now. Mm, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, this part is more or less the only part that remained intact, but the rest um, changed quite a bit. Like I said, you will see that in the next in the next episode. So remind it how it looks now. Uh, remember how it looks now and then um, 
yeah, we will take a look at it in a bit. Um, in a future episode, sorry, sorry for that. <clears throat> you see the, the river rapids here in the back, which also is, so the ride station is more or less done. <clears throat> we will take a look at it in a sec. Let's go to the other side. So this, this will, there will be a restaurant in this place here somewhere that I will call um, Chicken Itza, like Chichen Itza, but like Chicken Itza, so it's a chicken restaurant. We will go here. Th this also changed a lot. Um, yeah, but uh, next next episode. This is a topic for the next episode, I would say. This is all just to get there. This uh, is not final. Like, it's, like I said in the beginning, it's a lot of work in progress, um, not done yet. Uh, a lot of things that I will have to go back to. So this is the queue for the river rapids, and what I really, really liked is the part here on the top of it. So people are queuing right here on top of the building, and then they they go downstairs, and uh, through this thing that will be decorated in a bit, and yeah, that's a little bit elevated queue line and then uh, we are inside the station there will be a roof I still have not done the roof because I was still detailing it um, putting a lot of things in it and it's much easier to detail if you don't have a roof so there will be a roof uh, on top of this so it will be closed so that you yeah don't don't uh, see the sky when you're obviously don't see the sky when there's a roof but yeah, okay so this is the exit yeah, all right um, and we have a little shop area where uh, the big drop is and we have a seating area with a few uh, uh, with the Maxilente and the Tiki Chiki in it so yeah not sold on how it looks right now so I will definitely go and change this but for now, this uh, yeah, this is this is how it looks like. Um, so here are the stairs to go up, and I will show you this part from the other side because I really look like how it looks. So this is the drop. Uh, I think it's a nice shot. The coaster in the back. So this is how far we are right now uh, in episode 2 as you have seen a lot of the stuff is not really finished and needs a finishing touch um, a little hand more or less to keep it polished um, we will definitely visit again in the park uh, when we have done a little bit more um, just so that you can compare the difference but well, you should have a really really good uh, feeling now from what the park looks like and not just only the screenshots but now have been there in, in person I would say and uh, I hope this helps you guys to visualize everything a, a little bit easier um, to yeah just to to know okay this he, he has been building here and he has done that and, 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 and stuff like this so because I really want you all to be a part of this and um, make suggestions uh, tell me what you think and, and, and what you don't like and, and stuff like that so I really really appreciate the, the interaction with you guys here okay so um, last thing that I wanted to say we have not started yet um, the pirate area, the Asian, the medieval classical area, we have not started yet, the steampunk area, so these are all things that will come in the next episodes, this is all going to be in the in the future of this series. But for now we have two, probably yeah, three um, themes going on, which would be the Viking theme, and the adventure theme, which are really far, um, far ahead, I would say. And um, yeah, this little main theme that is going on here right now. 
And yeah, so I guess this is it, guys. Um, I don't know. I hope you really liked what you saw. Um, if you did, please smash the like button, um, leave a comment, please subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss the next episode of Alacrity Hills. And that's that's all I would say. Um, my name is Tetsuro303 and I wish you all an awesome day and see you um, soon I hope. Uh, bye bye.